This is your lesson on photosynthesis from Chapter 8, Lesson 1, Pearson Realize, pages 303 to 307. The vocabulary words for this lesson are food chain, food web, energy pyramid, producer, autotroph, photosynthesis, heterotroph, consumer. How do living things get energy from the sun? All living things need energy. A food chain is a series of events in which an organism eats another to obtain energy. A food web is a model that shows how matter and energy are transferred among organisms. Let's apply it. Here's the situation. A spider catches and eats a caterpillar that depends on a plant. Here's an example of it as a food chain. The sun transfers energy to the plant. The plant transfers energy to the caterpillar. The caterpillar is eaten and that energy is transferred to the spider. The arrow indicates where the energy is transferred to in a food chain. Here it is as a food energy pyramid. Here is the sun. The sun gives the energy to what's called producers. Producers are things such as plants. They're also known as autotrophs. Auto means self, troph means to eat. So you must make food by yourself, and that's what the plants do. They're able to convert the sun's energy into chemical energy. Anything that eats something else is called a heterotroph. They must find different things to eat, such as a caterpillar and a spider. So when the plant is eaten by the caterpillar, it is consumed. When the caterpillar is eaten by the spider, it is eaten by a secondary consumer. And then the spider could be eaten some, by something else. That's called a tertiary consumer. Okay, And that's how the energy can be moved up in the food pyramid. So what is happening for energy to be converted? What happens during photosynthesis? So the sun is the start of the food chain. The energy from the sunlight is captured. In most plants, this is mostly in leaves. Leaves are filled with green pigment called chlorophyll. So if we zoom in to a leaf, we would find these things called plant cells. A plant cell has two extra organelles. It's a cell wall for an extra stiff layer, but the most important for the part for this discussion of photosynthesis are these organelles called chloroplasts. That is filled with the green pigment called chlorophyll that's attracting the green light. The light goes in and a uh, plant also takes in carbon dioxide and water or H2O and the chloroplast splits the compound water and carbon dioxide with the light energy. Here it is in the form of a chemical equation. This is the photosynthesis equation. Light energy plus carbon dioxide and there's six carbon dioxide, CO2, plus water there are six molecules of water, H2O. This arrow in this equation means to yield and it will produce glucose, C6H12O6 plus oxygen and there's six molecules of oxygen. Thank you so much for your attention and ask any questions anytime. Thank you so much.